Hi, Joe Hallett here again with another advanced benefit from your SkyTrack. We're talking about the wedge matrix. Now, when we talk about this matrix, we're talking about a couple of different things. One is the clubs that you're gonna use. Many of you will use your pitching wedge or your 52, maybe your 56, and maybe your lob wedge, your 58 or 60. Whatever those four wedges are, that's part of this matrix. The other side is what size swing am I gonna use? And that's what I'm gonna try and help you with. Many people talk about a quarter swing, maybe a half swing, maybe something that's more three quarters at the shoulders, or potentially your full swing with a full follow through. Let's talk about the quarter swing. I've heard that called the four o'clock to eight o'clock swing. One player in particular told me they always felt like they could only swing as far as their arms could go before they engaged their body. So there was no need to have a lot of this going on in that little shot. Some keys that will help you. Start with a narrow stance. Put the ball and the weight on the left side. You're gonna to wanna to swing back as far as you can with your arms until you feel like you would have to start moving other parts of your body. Take the first couple practice swings with your arms only. That gives you an idea of where your arms are gonna go. For me, it's just outside my legs on both sides. That little quarter wedge shot that goes about, for me right there, that went about 15, 16 yards. I think you're gonna find, depending on the wedge you use, that this little shot comes into play when you're five, 10, maybe 15 yards from the green, but somewhere in that five, 10, and 15 area, it's a very reliable shot with a lot of consistency. Go get your SkyTrack, get on that wedge matrix, and let's learn that quarter swing.